So people devoid gauntlet, the newest weapon to new world, will actually be available for you guys to use within the coming hours. Maybe already in game by the time you watch this video. Today we get into it all guys. How's it going people? My name is DPJ. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So a few hours back, uh, Amazon actually dropped a tweet which linked to their website talking about the public test realm. This is basically a place where they will drop things into the game, things to come in the future for their players, us to experience and give feedback on to them before they actually incorporate it officially into New World. How epic does that sound? And coming within a few hours is the Void Gauntlet. Wow. Okay, so they stay within their post. Greetings, adventurers. Our goal is to provide you with the best possible experience in a tournament. That means getting feedback and testing early and often, especially with our players that have provided phenomenal feedback and helped us track down a plethora of issues since launch. We have many new and exciting changes planned for the future of New World. And as part of that preparation, we would like to introduce a new program, the New World Public Test Realm, PTR. What they basically explain this PTR is, the Public Test Realm is a place for us to test and preview and use early stuff that they are yet to add into the game, with the sole purpose of us giving them feedback on them. And they say by the end of today, everyone with a copy of New World will find a New World Public Test Realm application in their Steam library. Downloading this standalone application allows interested players access to check out the latest preview version and provide feedback. They say PTR servers will officially open tomorrow, November 10th at 12 p.m. PT, which is 7 p.m. UTC. Servers are limited. At the start, there will be one world available in US East and one world available in Central Europe. When the test period is complete, they say, and the main new world game is updated with the previewed content, all worlds will be shut down and wiped clean. No, not actual new world game, guys, actual PTR servers. Now the application they state will still be in your Steam library, but there will be no active servers until the next time they announce a test. Now they go on to talk about the Void Gauntlet. Now we knew this was coming, but it looks absolutely incredible. Luckily, it looks like a, a sword gauntlet. It looks amazing. Now they state the Void Gauntlet has manifested into Eternum. Manipulate the powers of the Void to support your allies and debilitate your enemies with this magical DPS support hybrid. It's the first weapon to scale on both intelligence and focus, making it a great pain with the life staff and other magic weapons. Sounds good to me people. The Annihilation Tree focuses on maximising damage at close range and revolves around Void Blade, a summon blade of corrosive void energy. The Decay Tree offers ranged healing and debuffs and resolves around Orb of Decay, a dual phase projectile that can debuff enemies and heal allies. With its arsenal of buffs and debuffs, the Void Gauntlet is perfect for group combat and can significantly bolster your allies at the expense of your enemies. And they also say there's going to be new missions and mobs, a new enemy type. They state new dangers have landed on our southern shores. The Varangian raiders have sailed down from the north and brutally carved out sections of each territory to establish a base of operations. From war camps on the beaches of First Light and Monarch's Bluffs to an entire fort they've captured in Everfall. Face off against fierce Varangian hewers, Varangian scouts, Varangian knights, and Varangian archers. Level range is between 16 and 20, as you assert in their true intentions. Enemy variety. Reinforcements have arrived. Be on the lookout for new enemies scattered across Eternum, such as the Withered Swarm Mancer, Beetle, the Lush Shaman, the Pyro Alligator, Ancient Guardian Pyro Mancer, and Enhanced Corrupt. Laborous. Wow. These additions will bring unique combat encounters to our lower level open world experience. 
experience. There's new enemy quests. What brings these new and ruthless visitors to our shores? Seek out Abigail Rose in the walls of Western Everfall to get started on one of two new quests available, which deal with the arrival of the Varangians. While their motives for coming south may remain a mystery, one thing seems clear. This is just an expeditionary force. More will come. New legendary weapon quests. Alongside the release of the Void Gauntlet, we're also releasing a new legendary weapon quest series. Upon reaching level 60 and maximum skill level with the Void Gauntlet, players should seek out Antiquarian Abington in Reek Water to start this epic endeavour. Know that you'll need to have completed Majeka's Straight Gem in Shattered Mountain and Legatus Full vs Quest series in Reek Water to qualify. So that's pretty cool. New legendary weapon quest too? Not bad. Improve main storyline quests. Quests in the main storyline have been improved with the new task types and quest variants, including wave events, destructible objects, and proximity nodes for tracking. You'll see some of these as you progress through the story, and more improvements are still underway. PvP faction missions. Our goal is to add more variety to PvP players and create a balanced experience for players highly engaged with territory control. Three brand new PvP faction mission types have been added. In addition, almost all PvP missions are now reset on death rather than being forfeited. Note that poach missions have been removed for a better directed set of PvP missions. Control points, these missions send you to capture and control the forts. Intercept, defeat enemy faction members and collect their tiers. War camp loot, retrieve hidden plans at the enemy war camp. Okay, so new trading post experience. Now, we know of this already. Well, you may have missed the news, but they basically confirmed that all trading posts have been linked and are now unified. Now, you can buy and sell the same results from any trading post in the world. Fees for buy and sell orders are defined by the settlement that you're posting them. Additionally, transaction taxes on purchases you make are defined by the settlement in which you are making a purchase. Items are listed in sell orders that expire return to the settlement from which they were posted. Pretty cool. And there we have it guys, we do have a PTR uh, frequently asked questions, you can read through on screen now if you want to. But this sounds pretty cool to me guys, it's something I'm definitely going to try and try out myself. I want to get my hands on that void gauntlet for sure. And I'll let you know of my findings. But there we have it for another New World video, guys. Tell me your thoughts on it down below in that comment section. What's your opinion on the Void Gauntlet? Are you looking forward to it? But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more New World, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.